back to my channel and welcome to those of you who are new today I'm going to be doing my much anticipated long awaited cash stuffing envelopes I have these right here for you guys I actually was able to make my envelopes this week that was partly what took me so long is because I had to make new envelopes but I have them now they are ready to go and I'm ready to show you guys how I do my cash envelopes this is actually going to be my first time doing this with our new budget plan so i'm really excited to show you guys how i'm going to do it hopefully i won't mess it all up but if i do please forgive me all right let's jump into it okay guys so here is my budget spread planner whatever you want to call it this is for the month of february and i've already done all of this if you guys are interested in seeing how i do my planning for the month make sure to let me know in the comments below and i'll try to do a video for you guys on that but for now i went ahead and did it for this month just to make it a little bit easier for myself i am trying kind of a newish method um, I found someone on YouTube called The Budget Mom, and if you guys haven't watched her videos, you need to go find her channel because it is really amazing. I really like the way she budgets. She does kind of a mix of her own things. She takes some things from Dave Ramsey and th some things from other people, but I really like how she does it, and so I'm going to be doing what she does as far as the paycheck to paycheck budget planning, which means that we're going to be doing two separate budgets for each month, or I'm going to try to do it that way. I think it works out easier because my husband does get paid twice a month. So he got paid on the 8th, and that means that I'm going to be paying all the bills from the 8th until the 22nd when he gets paid again. So that is what I'm going to be doing for this time. That is how I'm going to be paying my bills. And as far as the cash envelopes are consider are concerned, I'm going to be doing sinking funds and the cash envelopes that I'm going to keep with me in my wallet. So for my sinking funds, I'm going to be doing half of the amount for the month because that's just how it works out for our budget. So I'll do that twice a month, but then for the cash envelopes, I'm going to be doing these just once a month. So I will be pulling the cash out out of our first paycheck every month. All right, so let's write down what I'm gonna be putting in each envelope so that I can keep things straight. Okay, so I'm gonna be using the happy notes section of my No Drama Llama Planner to write down how my new budget method is gonna work. And I don't really have a system yet. I'm gonna kind of work it out as I go, so uh, bear with me, because I'm just going to be writing <laughs> in regular, well, I'm gonna be writing in purple pen today. Our income for the month of February is going to be, or for, I guess I should say for February 8th. Let me write that on here. So that is going to be 14, 52. All right, and the bills that I have for this time are going to be our tithes, our electric bill. Can you guys see what I'm writing? Maybe I should zoom you in a little more. our water bill, our life insurance, our car payment, And one thing that the budget mom does that I'm going to start doing because I think it's a good idea is to add a cushion into your bank account. That way if there's a bill that is more than what you're expecting or if you, for whatever reason, if you have to use your debit card or something like that and you're not expecting it, there's a little bit of a cushion in there um, so that you won't overdraft. So this month I'm gonna do 15. We'll see how that works out for next month. All right, so my total equals 
I did forget also that I'm going to be putting my gas in here because my husband and I get gas at like Costco and it's just a million times easier to pay for it with our debit card. So I have $200 for us for gas. That brings our total to $722. And that means our leftover is $730. And then now we take that leftover and we do our cash envelopes. All right, so the first thing I have with my cash envelopes are groceries. And that's gonna be $420. His allowance. It's $25, her allowance. $25. Eating out is going to be $70. And pet supplies. It's $25. So the total for those is going to be $565. The leftover of, so now we just take the leftover from here minus the total here, and that leaves us with $165. Now we move down to the third portion, which would either be sinking funds or debt or savings, and for me, for this month, I am going to do sinking funds or for this portion of the month. All right, so my sinking fund categories are cell phone, which is going to be $50. Car maintenance, which is gonna be $50. Actually, I did just realize that I made a mistake. These are not gonna be $50. It's $50 for the month, so it's actually gonna be $25 for this pay period. Forgive me, I, that really bugs me. I need wide out, but we'll keep going. House maintenance, which is going to be 25 for the month, so 1250 for the pay period. Gifts, which is gonna be 10. Clothing, which is going to be 10, and subscriptions, which is also going to be $10. So when you add that up, that equals, so total equals $92.50. And left over there's seventy two fifty. And so the seventy two fifty is gonna go towards paying off our debt. All right, so our cash total that I need is. Six fifty seven fifty. All right, guys, here we go. Here comes the fun part. Let's do, let's fill these cash envelopes. So the first thing I'm gonna start with are the envelopes that I'm going to keep in my wallet. So I'm gonna start with groceries. Groceries is gonna be the first one that I pull out. So for groceries, I have on here $420. And two, three, 
All right, so I will stick this one right in here. And set that off to the side. I'm gonna zoom out just a little so you guys can see a little bit more of what I'm doing. All right, the next one that I have is my spending money. So my spending money is the same thing as my allowance, which is going to be $25. do 20 and 5. that in there, set that to the side. Next one is eating out, and for this one we're going to have $70. So 20, 40, 60, 65, 60, and 70. Let me count that one more time. 20, 40, 60, 70. If you guys are wondering, I did make my own cash envelopes. If you like them, let me know. I could possibly make a video if you guys are interested in it. Let me know in the comments below if you're interested in how to make these cash envelopes. I really like them. I think they're super cute and they were fun to make. All right, so my next envelope is pet supplies and that's gonna get $25. So there's 20 and oops, five. 25. Need to have my money a little bit better organized next time. All right, so the next envelopes that I have, I'll put these over to the side, are going to be my sinking funds. So the ones that are my sinking funds are subscriptions, clothes, gifts, car maintenance, cell phone, and house maintenance. All right, so here we go. We're going to start with cell phones, and that is going to get $25. So, my bad. 20 and 5. I made these ones a little bit smaller because I was trying to get more um, more than just one envelope out of one sheet of paper. So I made these a little bit smaller than these. The only reason I made these a little bit bigger was so that if I end up getting the wallet that I want, I'll be able to put holes in these and then it'll stay in my wallet. But so these are a little bit smaller. It's not just your eyes. <laughs> All right, so car maintenance is going to get $25. I had a little bit of a challenge going to the bank this month trying to get cash out because my bank, for whatever reason, does not carry 10s and 50s, which would have made my life much easier, but what can you do? I would have to go all the way across town if I wanted tens and fifties. So I just may do with what I have. So I have a bunch of ones that I don't really need, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. And I have a whole bunch of fives too. <laughs> all right. So house maintenance is going to be 1250. So I'm going to take out five, 10, 11, and 12. And I left the 50 cents in my wallet because I'm not going to be carrying around 50 cents, but I'll change it over to a dollar whenever I need it next month. So here's the $12 for now. Okay. All right, so the next one's going to be gifts, and gifts gets $10. So we'll do five ten for this one. All right. The next one's going to be for clothing, and that gets $10. So one, two, three, four, five, and five makes 10. And then my last one is subscriptions, and that also gets $10. Actually, I'm going to do it this way also. So one, two, three, four, five, and five is 10. I was very confused just a second ago because I had $25 sitting here and I totally forgot what it was for, but this money is for my husband. <laughs> this is going to be his spending money for the month. All right. So again, my sinking funds are only going to be for half of the month. My cash envelopes are for the entire month. So I won't be filling these up again at my next pay period, but I will be filling these up again. So. That is going to be all for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave me some comments down below. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please make sure you do so so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye!
Thank you.